Good question for you. What does your body fat percentage have to do with your testosterone levels? We're gonna find out in today's video. All the information in today's video, plus much more, can be found in my book, Master Your Tea. Visit MasterYourTea.com for a free digital download of the book. $20 in value, absolutely free for you. It is, in fact, one of the more important variables in the testosterone equation. Now, below a certain level of body fat, which in men tends to be like sub 8 or 9%, but there is some variability depending on age, training, maturity, and genetics, testosterone levels start to drop. In competitive bodybuilders, we see a drastic decrease in testosterone levels, even when many of them are on drugs. This is all happening usually in the initial final weeks before the, the bodybuilding show as they reach that sub 7% body fat level. This is the body's natural response to attempt to handle the stress associated with unnaturally low body fat levels by reallocating energy away from less vital processes like reproductive capabilities and over toward baseline functioning of vital organs and processes. It makes sense. Ultra low body fat levels also tend to take a considerable amount of calorie restriction to reach and low calorie diets hit testosterone levels hard as the body struggles to leach the necessary nutrients from the limited food source. However, I'd be curious to see an N equals one test run on men who have reached sub seven or eight percent body fat levels slowly over the course of many years via a slight calorie deficit as opposed to most data that we have at the time that measures less longitudinally, looking mostly at just test groups over the course of like a 12 to 16 week range with intense calorie restrictions like bodybuilders. They drop ultra low in calories and spike their training intensity at the same time before competing in a show. So longitudinal data over the course of many years and experienced trainees who do not yo-yo body in body fat levels, but instead actually just maintain or slightly decrease body fat every single year would be a far more interesting look at the human body's capabilities in terms of endocrine function adaptability. Now I'd posit a guess that guys who train for years and very slowly decrease body fat through calorie uh, and calorie deficits that are in like a 10 to 20% range over time would develop the capacity to support normal body fat levels naturally, even in the five to 8% body fat range. Low body fat is only one side of the coin when it comes to adipose and testosterone. The other side is far meatier or flabbier uh, and it's more relevant to people that are watching this video right now. To put it simply, Testosterone both free and SHBG and albumin bound levels correlate inversely with measures of insulin resistance like insulin, C peptide, and HOMA IR, the body fat and body fat levels in general. And the inverse correlation between testosterone and insulin resistance is mediated by the adipose tissue and independent of SHBG. To put it in even simpler terms, the more body fat you have, the less testosterone you will naturally be able to produce. So if you're overweight or skinny fat with above 15% uh, body fat in men, the single best thing you can do for yourself in terms of naturally optimizing your tea production is just lose the body fat. It really is that simple. However, dropping body fat may not be an easy task for everyone. You need to train correctly and eat the right foods that will nourish your endocrine system as opposed to crash dieting down, which also lowers your tea levels. So do the correct training and eat in a moderate deficit around 10 to 20% to allow for minor non-stress inducing endocrine adjustments over time. Now, if you have high levels of body fat, your endocrine system is suffering. It is nowhere near as healthy as it could be. However, you must realize that this took time to achieve. You didn't screw it up overnight, so don't expect to fix it overnight either. In terms of regional versus total body fat, like belly fat versus full body fat, the research is somewhat conflicting and inconclusive. So some studies find that total body fat levels tend to be a better inverse correlate to testosterone levels, and some find that regional abdominal fat levels tend to be a better correlate. However, the overall body of knowledge on the subject would indicate basically that they're both decent correlates. So while abdominal fat is a noticeable warning indication of compromised ability to produce natural testosterone, so is total body fat percentage. So the moral of the story is this, lose body fat to increase testosterone production naturally, regardless of where it is. Low levels of androgens are linked to central adiposity in men and a high risk marker for type two diabetes. Testosterone administration has been shown time and again to decrease intra-abdominal adiposity and increase insulin sensitivity over time. Another important thing to note, an overall and predictable increase in cortisol levels occurs in overweight and obese individuals, as well as an increased sensitivity to cortisol. This means you'll be more stress reactive the fatter you get, which is a bad thing. The decrease in insulin sensitivity and glucose tolerance associated with an increase in cortisol levels is well established. 
Muscle tissue rapidly becomes insulin resistant, especially in insulin sensitive red muscle fibers, i.e. glycogen synthesis becomes insulin resistant, and increased activity in the CRF ACTH cortisol axis will inhibit hypothalamic secretion of gonadotropins, which are the testosterone precursors. So to paint the doom and gloom picture for you in layman's terms, increased cortisol makes it easier to gain fat, and as you gain fat, you become more insulin resistant, which perpetuates cortisol circulation, so you gain more fat. You also compromise your ability to properly use and store muscle glycogen, giving you further issues with glucose and insulin regulation. You also increasingly compromise your brain's ability to secrete the hormones that trigger testosterone production. Long story short, the more you reinforce stressful behaviors that increase body fat, like lifestyle and job stress, overeating, insufficient exercise, psychological stress, and a processed shitty diet, the worse your life is gonna get. The good news, especially if you're frequently stressed out, especially after listening to that, uh, lowering your body fat percentage will increase your ability to handle that stress and decrease the amount of circulating cortisol in your system, which will in turn make it easier to continue losing body fat. It's a positive feedback cycle. People realize this when you get that momentum, it helps. Lowering your body fat percentage is the single most important thing you can do to naturally optimize your testosterone production. So if you like this video and you wanna learn more about how to naturally increase your testosterone levels, I recommend checking out my book, Master Your Tea, which you can actually get for free right now as a download over on masteryourtea.com. The entire book, over 500 pages, uh, over 880 references, all in here, everything you would ever need to know. It's like the encyclopedia of natural testosterone production. And it's yours free over at masteryourtea.com. Just enter your email. You'll also get a free coupon for Testro X, it's $5 off your first bottle if you want to try it out. And uh, if you like this video, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you on the next video.